Hey! Yo, hey there! Hey, dear. Hi How's there. How's it going? Nothing of A's. <laughs> oh, sorry about that, eh? Well, uh, tonight, as you can see, we're doing a uh, unibrow. Which, uh, unibrow, which Real. my mom told me when I was younger, uh, having a unibrow means you're smarter. Yeah, your mom lied. Yeah, she did. A lot. <laughs> so we're going to do our patented ranking system with these Belgian-Canadian beers. Yeah, we went can full Canadian. As you can see, I have some all-dressed chips. Which, if you don't know what those are, it's like the best fucking potato chip flavor ever. Canadians got something right, other yeah. than beer and hockey. Yeah. So we'll see if their take on, you know, Belgian beer is is spot on, or if uh, they all tend to fall onto this side of the, the ranking scale. So, be back in a minute and we'll start drinking. <laughs> Hello, welcome to this week's episode of the Rambling Nave. I'm Brandon, and I'm not going gentle into that good night. And I'm Noah. You don't do a whole lot gentle. No, not really. No. I mean, fast and hard. Yeah, that's about it. Mostly that's fast. Sad. Yeah, always fast. Not <laughs> mostly, mostly fast. always fast. So this week, as said in the uh, open, there we're going to be drinking some Unibri. It's a Belgian-style Canadian beer from Quebecois. Quebecois. And if you're curious as to what makes it Belgian style, it means it tastes like it was brewed in Belgium. Well, I was going to say they crumble at the hands of the Nazis, but that's a That 70s <laughs> Show joke, so I'm just ripping from them. Well, not just yeah. the Nazis. I mean, you know, the German Empire <laughs> is before true. it, and, you know, yeah. many others. But Belgian style means it has a heavy emphasis on malts and fruity yeast flavors, and it is spontaneously fermented, mean the, uh, meaning the wort is open to the air while it ferments. All right, so let's start with one. I don't care. Why don't you uh, All right, here. bust one open here. We got the Don de Deux. Don de Deux. Here, how about we move uh, these? Oh, yeah, how about you move those back there? Yes, yes. We oui, This oui. is the Don de Deux, which it says, oh, dear. We start with the heavy one. Don de Deux. This is a 9% Belgian-style triple wheat ale. So this one's gonna put us on our ass with 9%. It says, ale brew with spices. Bottle re-fermented. Nice. Oh, that's I'm really... kinda, I don't know that I wanted to open because it's nice. It is? It's so, yeah, it's so fancy. It was like out of our, it's like out of our class here. Like we're <laughs> yeah. punching above our weight. God damn it. Certainly I are. You really gotta figure that thing out. I drank too much today. There yeah. we go. Yeah. It goes like that. Pretend like it's on a wall. That's what I had to do. <laughs> Imagine a wall. Alright. Don de do. Don de do. Oh, and you can oh, see we okay. actually got some clear cups, so now you can see. Yeah, wow, that's. You said it was what, 9%? 9%. That's actually very uh, light for 9%. Yeah. Did not expect that. It smells light too, actually. Yeah. It does, it does. I mean, it, you, can, you definitely get that malty scent in there. Oh, yeah, but what it doesn't of, smell. What kind of boat is that? Uh, shit. Uh, give me a minute, and uh, it will come to me. <laughs> like, some kind of... No, well, like... It's a galleon. Actually, yes. yeah, it is. That's yes. a oh, it is. All right! I wanted to say frigate, but... No, no, no. Frigates are small and yeah. fast. <laughs> but I think I like, just wanted to say... Misha, yeah. Small and fast. It smells good. It does smell good. Oh, wow. Oh. That almost, it has uh, almost the flavor of like a Christmas ale. A little bit. Well, wow, there's fruit in there too. Yeah, there's that, a lot, there is a lot yeah. happening in there. That is crap. dangerous because that is really smooth. Yeah. And at oh. 9%, it's, uh -huh. it's, so, it's so very light too. You know, I always say like, is it an easy drinker? Is it an everyday drinker? This one's dangerous because this easily, like, it's not frigidly cold. Yeah. But, because I forgot to put it in the fridge last night. But that being said, it's so easy going down that this really you could get hammered on this. Oh yeah, you really real could. fast. What's S R M? I don't know. Um, <laughs> yes, yeah, I'm picking up like I don't know. I think it's state-run military. No, it's Canada. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'm picking up like pear mm. or apple or something. Yeah. I'm picking up delicious. Yeah. I'm gonna get just a little little hit of that. Mm. Wow, that's really good. I mean, it's it yeah, like it's it's really malt forward, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but there's that like that really fruity crispness in there. Yeah, and it's not that like 
hoppy like fruitiness where you're getting like just a grapefruit type, yeah you know that citrusy it's it's yeah it's, it's like it's yeah like i said it's like it's a, like a, like a pear fruit. or an yeah. apple or something yeah. sweet well i think because it's so good we'll start it at i'd buy that for because i most certainly would buy yeah. that for a dollar actually well, why don't we put this here because then we'll move these because it's got they have such a nice uh artwork we're just gonna get these yeah anyway. we can get rid of those okay this one i don't i'm gonna just butcher this Ephemer, 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 ephemia. Yeah. Okay. Well, this one ephemer. literally has ephemer. a uh, f u. It <coughs> has. This is a Belgian ephemer. style. Yeah. There you go. F this is <laughs> f me Ray. Damn. If only my name was Ray. <laughs> yeah. This is a Belgian style fruit flavored wheat ale at five point five. Now it literally says apple, and it has apples on there with a little okay. fairy. Like sprinkling something on the apples. Oh yeah, that says ale brew with apple juice, coriander, orange peel, and natural flavor Did added. Does have that, or was that just? It just says spicy. Oh, yeah, I will say though. Spices. Now here's the thing. This is, sorry, this the one we just had was a triple wheat ale. And this is just a wheat ale. And this, this one's just going to be a regular wheat ale. So this one on the IBU was ten point five, and the SRM whatever the fuck that is is five. I mean, shouldn't we probably know that as what like our, our expertise on the show? Uh, I'm going to. I'll tell you here in a second. <laughs> while I, I struggle with this, yeah. this is uh, <laughs> a ten on the IBU ever. and a four on the SMR or SRM. I will say though the, uh, the Don de Dieu, um, it does have kind of a, a lingering bitterness afterwards. I like it. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just the uh, SRM refers to the standard reference method, which is uh, the color. Ha oh, ha okay. Yeah, yeah. So the higher, the darker? I have no or idea. Or the lower, the darker? Oh, hang on, let me, I gotta, I gotta really think here. The higher, the darker, yes. Well, that stands to reason, because this is a little yeah. lighter. We're here for you. So SRM stands for the standard reference method, and it's the color scale of beer. Okay, so there you go. Wow, that, I can smell the apple from here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, wow. That, I'm sorry, but here's the... I've had... We've had a number of really shitty, like, fruit drinks. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, the apple hits you like one of those. Yeah, like, there is a real strong scent, and it's all the way yeah, down there. Yeah, it, it... Okay. It has an apple scent like a uh, <laughs> Bud Light spritzer, not spritzer, but a... Uh, Butterita, yeah, or a Rita beer. Although that being said, I love apple and all things flavored apple, so I'm going into this eyes wide open, yeah, heart hopeful. Yeah, yeah, but um, I hate I hate to um, kind of like shit on my parade. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I hate I hate to compare something like that, like high end like this, down to. Oh know, yeah, no, no, no. I'm yeah. I, I hate you know our juice drinks, but. That scent, I know that scent <laughs> yeah, because yeah. of <laughs> because of those drinks. Because of the things you had before. You know, there's remarkably little apple taste. Yeah. You get it? Like, it's there, but it's not a lot. Afterward, the aftertaste is exceptionally apple. Wow. That's, yeah. That's really complex. Yeah, it certainly it, doesn't taste like a juice beer or, no. or loco apple. I mean, okay, it says orange peel on the bottle, mm -hmm. and I think that's what a lot of, like that's what you get flavor wise up front is that like that bittery that that real light bitterness, and I think it's because there's such a heavy apple scent that it like yeah <clears throat> mm. that it kind of uh, it tempers that bitterness with the sweet scent. It, right, you're using. You're all using your all senses. your senses here, or at least two of them. <laughs> no, you can hear it, and you're seeing it. Hang on. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like apple. So yeah, it's just I can, like every apple I can, I've ever listened yeah. to. Yeah, I can definitely hear the apple. Yeah, now feel it in your mouth. <laughs> okay, so the how are the if, F, the F me ray F me ray? I don't think it's as good as that. No, no, no. no. Yeah. But it's good. It's good. It's, so. I don't know. Like I would knock it down. I would knock it down. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's like, it was fine. That's but, fine. I mean, I I get you. I get you, sir. Like it's complex, but it's subtle. You know. All right. So here we have. And the, it does not taste like a juice or four loco. Mm -mm. Lovely. All 
All right, so this is uh, Blanche the de Chambly. Blanche <laughs> de Chambly. Yep, this is a 5% ale brewed with coriander and orange peel. What are you fucking laughing at? You... That you're just like murdering the name. I don't speak French. It's Blanche de Chambly. <laughs> Blanche de Chambly. Uh, de Chambly. You stumbled over your yeah. tongue there for a second. <laughs> Got too fat and pretentious in your mouth. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Belgian style white ale. Ooh, so this okay. is not. Blanche de Chambly. And this is a Chambly. four Chambly. and a, on the, the color Standard scale. Reference method. And a ten as well. So this is should look identical to that one. But you said it also has mm -hmm. coriander and orange peel. Yeah, which that one also had coriander and Did orange it? peel, but this okay. one just doesn't have the See normally when I hear coriander I think of gross. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not a holiday <laughs> drinks that we've dealt with before, but Okay. So I'm surprised uh, so far these are pretty good. I guess I'm not surprised. Yeah, I mean, this is, like, I've had these before. It's been a while, so this is, like, okay. This is nice to, like, just revisit little... in this format. Well, this is definitely the first, this is the white ale. So this is the first, I mean, it's probably still a wheat ale, but, yeah, it's not calling it out as a wheat ale. I smell the coriander a little bit. It's very mild in smell. There's not a whole lot of scent there. Yeah. Okay, it's very very similar to that last one. Yeah, but it doesn't have the it doesn't have the same amount of flavor. That's I mean, cool. that's listen. I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure my taste buds are horribly undeveloped. <laughs> so maybe I'm just not getting those. Uh, I mean, small okay, notes. like, and I guess technically you're supposed to have like serve this in a. Like a special glass. Like, I think this one's like a... These are special for us. Normally, they're red solo cups. Like a fluted, I would say this kind is... of fluted... Um, yeah. All right, you know, here's what I'm going to say about this one. And I really mm. like this. Mm. This one tastes like a beer beer. Like, yeah, you have a little bit of spices, but really, this one just tastes like a beer beer. Like, this... Yeah. You could have stuck this in, like... I mean, after our last lager taste test, you could have stuck this in one of those lagers, and I've been mm -hmm. like, yeah, that's one of those. Yeah. Po I mean, possibly. Like, it's it's very airy. That Yeah, that's a yeah. good like, uh, um, descriptor. Like, you're, you, like, the, um, the, words. the words. Uh, the pop, the pop chips, the air pop chips. Oh, right, yeah. Where they're, like, really light and flaky. That's this in a Or like the chocolate that they screw you with by saying it has air pockets in, but really they just took like half the candy bar out and you know, <laughs> left holes in it. And us Americans are like, ooh, it's got air, got air pockets! pockets. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is that in a beer form where it's like, oh, it's got air pockets! <laughs> there's nothing wrong with this beer. But they upcharge. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing wrong with this beer, but I, I still say that's better than this. For sure. I'll, I'll, I will I'll agree with that. that. So, for now, because uh, that's not bad, and I don't want to drop it down until we have something to knock it down. All right, right now, we've got the Troy's Pistolets. <laughs> the three pistols. Yeah, see, we got... <laughs> <laughs> I can read it. This, this is a 9%. Language. This just is another one like the first one. This is an ale brewed with spices. This is a Belgian-style dark ale. Mm, okay. okay. So, this is a... Oh, boy. Okay, so, like... They're all this was, For the SRM was a 4... This oh, was yeah. a four. And this was a five. That's a five. This is a 32, too. <laughs> okay. So and this is going to be dark. This is dark. And then the IBU is 15.5. Okay. So we've... This is light years different from everything we've yeah. had. Well, I mean... It, wow. Ooh. Holy shit. And it is aggressive. <laughs> wow, yeah. No, that thing popped. It's... I hope it's not skunked. Well, we'll find out. Oh, yeah. Looks like Diet Coke. Oh, that's a good color. It does look like, yeah. yeah. It looks like cola. It really does look like cola. Okay, so a 32 on the SRM scale is... is Diet Coke. Yeah. Yeah. It's cola. Doesn't smell skunked. No, it's got... It's got a nice scent. I like this artwork. That is some metal art. Yeah, that really... It, yeah. No, that yeah. really is. It's got... <laughs> Castle of Otranto, or like uh, the House of Usher. Well, the horse has got wings. Like you know, yeah. you shouldn't talk about Usher. I mean, he's been on poor times for a while. I love Usher. Yeah, <laughs> the one yes. goes to his creepy the house where he pees on people. Well, I was gonna say buries his sister alive, but you know, either way. <laughs> 
Is that what the song Yeah is about? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Next thing I knew, yeah, she was on the floorboards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. You know, for being a dark beer, you get that really bitter aftertaste, but up front, it's pretty smooth. It's that lighter really than light. I expected. Yeah, it's lighter than I expected. But there's like... Um, there's a sweetness somewhere in there, too. Yeah. Yeah, it's almost like caramely. Mm-hmm. Like a and the aftertaste is great. But like, but once, like it, it is a very forward beer. Like It hits your yeah. mouth, and you are like... Maybe it's because we just had the uh, mm-hmm. Blanche and the Ephemerae, but like... The Blanche and the Ephemerae? <laughs> is, is that what we're talking about? We're American! Speak American, goddammit! Ah, uh, but we get like, <laughs> <laughs> but um, like there is it is like powerful up front. It really is, yeah. Mm. It's got a bitterness to it too. Yeah. Well, that's the thirteen point five. Right. Whatever. Yeah. It's kind of nutty, like walnut, <laughs> like dark nut. Really? Yeah. That I'm not getting. I mean, I love a dark nut. Super good though. That might take a drink off with that one. Yeah, you know, I okay. won't, I won't I deny mean, we, that. Weak, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, but, yeah, 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 yeah. I think at least for now we stick them together. Okay. Well, who? Well, yeah. Well, we need a drink off with the nine percent. Well, I guess as you know what that tastes like, we move back to this guy. Mm-hmm. Really, you don't taste walnut in that. I really don't. Maybe I don't know what walnut actually Maybe tastes Maybe like. you Yeah, you're like Grover. <laughs> He's purple! <laughs> purple and blue are like the same color. Anyways, maybe your palette's just more advanced than ours. Or less devolved. See, I like the scent on this one better. I do too. But it's, yeah, no, it's like a chocolate-covered walnut. I think so. It doesn't have like... Mm, that. It has that, that bitter cocoa taste. On okay. the finish. Okay. Or at least that's what's lingering well, in my mouth. A cocoa right nut now. is kind of a and a walnut. A cocoa or bean. Nuts. Cocoa nut bean. Cocoa <laughs> nut bean. Alright, so this is really good. <laughs> we are educated as hell. Educated. Like, goddamn right we are. Listen, I made a Dylan Thomas reference. Uh, I made a Edgar Allan Poe reference. <laughs> We're totally nailing these French words. <laughs> Absolutely. We made an Usher reference. I think we're pretty educated. That's good, but I think the the dark one's better. Really? I think this one might be better. Because mm, I think that's tough. This that's one, what I'm saying. They're <clears throat> real, both really good. This one has a more well-rounded flavor. While the dark one is it's a lot more bitter than this one, it doesn't have that really full kind of flavor. You can talk me into it because they're that close. Yeah. Well, this I one say, I believe is more drinkable. So in like my my opinion, yeah. like this is definitely closer to an everyday drinker if it weren't nine percent. Sure. I would I would go with this one personally because again the the flavor it it encompasses your whole mouth. While that one it kind of hits you in specific spots. Uh, it's bitter more than it is flavorful. <clears throat> I. I, I, I will still say that I think that I like the dark one better, but it's so close. Yeah. I like the Trois Pistoles. Okay. The what? Which one? Trois. Troy. Tro- Tro- Troy's. Troy. It's plural. No, it's, Troy's. It's, it's showing possessive. Troy's pistols. Tro- pistols. Yeah. Pistols. Okay, so Troy has Tro- multiple pistols, pistols, and he's going to Tro- a gunfight pistols. at OK Corral. I'm going to pick this one. You know, it doesn't look, you know, for saying it's, it's I'm Troy's pistols. I'm picking that one because of the artwork. Sure, but it's, I'll give you that. <laughs> if it's about Troy's pistols. You think it would have either Troy, maybe the horse is Troy. Well, no. Well, you maybe, can't see that on his haunches he's got pistols duct tape. That's a good point. I was going to say, why isn't it high noon? It looks like it's getting pretty late and it's hard to have a gunfight at nighttime because you can't see very well. You're going for, like, Matt Mercer? Like, it's high noon. Yeah, well, clearly, that's the only time you can have a gunfight. So, all right. All right. it up. <laughs> Troy's Pistols. Two over. And for once, I won one of these. You know, like, oh, say what Christ. you will, but apparently Hooked on Phonics really fucking works. 
Dude, yeah, I'm hooked on it. <laughs> <laughs> like, you see all these letters? Yeah. Like, I just want right, to say so them the way they sound. That's Quebec, right? Quebec. Quebec. So, La Fin du Monde. Quebec. This yeah. is a Belgian style triple ale. Ooh. So, it's like the one. This is a 9%. Jesus Christ. Man, they certainly yeah. like this. This is another ale brewed <laughs> with spices. It is a 5.5, but it is. A 19 on the IBU. Okay, so it's going to be so bitter, gonna... but the color's going to be similar to all of them except for that one. Yeah. Quebec. 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 Oh, hey, you guys want some poutine? <laughs> Fuck yes, I do. Yeah. yeah, no, I do want some poutine. Or some poutine, some Timmy Horton. Some poutine, some poutine. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> mm. Okay, so I think we should also point out, though, that... Um, Canada is awesome. Oh, I bow to my northern overlords. Thanks, Canada. Uh, Don de Dieu is a triple, but it's a triple wheat. Wait, this one is saying? not triple wheat. This is just a triple. What did he say? I don't know. I'm not listening. He's pretentious. My ears don't hear that. <laughs> I'm sorry that I would just like to pronounce these beers correctly. Yeah, well, whatever. La Fin du Monde. Yeah, see? There now you go. you're in it. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Finally. Real <laughs> mild. There you go. There's the color again. So, I mean, yeah, that smells, that has that that's beer not, beer. That's not Quebec. What is that? It's got to be like Nova Scotia, because La Fin du Monde means the end of the world. So it could be Nova Scotia. So right after that is the flat earth but, edge where you fall off, right? Right after Nova Scotia, you fall off the flat earth. No, you just get turned around and put okay. back the other way, right? You I just thought, oh, really quickly flip. Is that the bottom? bottom? Oh, okay. I thought that's how it worked. Maybe. Well, here's my question. Because so the Nazis they, went. They oh. Went <laughs> well, here's... Oh, the underside of the flat earth. Because yeah. I was like, I believe in the hollow earth, but how can the earth be hollow if it's flat? You know, it's... Well, I mean, you know, you have a little bit of depth. I guess. It's, so got, it's like a layer cake. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, okay. So the dinosaurs live well, no, I was in thinking the middle like, layer. No, it's like it's like two pancakes stacked on the top of one on top of the other. Uh huh. And then there's just that little air pocket in between. See, That's full of butter. But see, I thought it was <laughs> some giant tortoises with elephants. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then on top of it was a disc. Oh, okay. I thought it was like yeah. Thank you, well, Terry no, Pratchett. I thought it was the yeah the. The disc, and then the turtle, and then a bigger turtle is holding up that turtle, and then a bigger turtle, 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 turtle is holding up that turtle. It's just, it's turtles all the way down. <laughs> That's the world I want to live in. Yeah. <laughs> I want to live so in a world if you fall off the, the edge of the disc, it's, it's like, there's a turtle, <laughs> there's a bigger turtle. <laughs> and then eventually they just get so big, you get trapped into their gravity. It's like, I think it's a turtle, but it's so big, yeah. I can't tell. And you just get sucked into its gravity, and there's like a whole nother world. On top of the That's light. what a black hole is. Yeah, it's the just biggest turtles. turtle at the yeah. end of the lake. Yeah. But yeah. wait, you get sucked into its cloaca. How can there? How could there be gravity if it's not? If there's no rotational force. Listen, science is just a belief. All right, it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> if it's just turtles all the way down. The turtles are clearly rotating. <laughs> they're all they're spinning in. Yeah, yeah. haven't you seen Gamera? <laughs> That's how we fly. Yeah. One turtle spins this way, the other spins the opposite way, and then all the way down they create gravity. And of course, all we all You're know, welcome, science. All turtles are magnetic. Yes. <laughs> now, on to the beer. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Don't. Oh, God. We're going to get pegged by like some weird, like, flat earth. That's fine. Fucking. Oh. I will entertain their stupid idea. Oh, <laughs> oh God. They can come hang out. I, I think. Yeah, why not? Hey, guys, yours is flat. Whatever. Cool. You want to get drunk? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, my beer is delicious. Yeah. Hmm. This is good. Hmm. Yeah, that's like a strong... It's like a strong beer beer. Yeah. Strong. That is a... Uh, so strong. It is so strong. But I... It's a patented um, descriptor there. Beer beer. Mm-hmm. It's a so strong beer. Yeah. But to me, it doesn't beat either No, no, it doesn't beat those. either of those. It beats those, though, I think. I might like this one better than Don Dijit. Uh, huh? I think you're crazy. Who? Don Dijit. Don Juan de la Nuch? <laughs> <laughs> Don Quixote. What do you Tilt at those windmills, motherfucker! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don de Dieu is like saying it phonetically, too. Oh. I don't understand how you're gonna rip me on that one. Don de Dui. Dwa! Dewey. Dewey! Don de Dui. See, I would stick this 
here. Dawn to well, Dawn. I can tell you where you can stick it. <laughs> I could go for a beer enema. What would that would be like? Next week on the Rambling Dave. <laughs> 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 I'll I'll burn, in my butt. Oh, burn oh, your oh, eyes. Oh, no, uh, don't avert them. We're going to age restrict that one. No, we're not. No, we're not. In my butt you know, I like this you one. Usually I'm used to being <laughs> in bubbles, buddy. Yeah, yeah, right. This time it's the other way around. <laughs> uh, we're doing good. So this one, it's These very... These are really strong. No, this one is certainly strong. And, okay, it's it's a triple ale, so it's basically like if you had three ales. I mean, but okay. all put together at once. So, this is, this is going to come out, you know, very layman... <laughs> But it does sort of taste like you put three, like three different kinds of beer together mm -hmm. and then drink them because there's, it's a really complex flavor and I can't, be, and I, I, I'm having trouble placing it. Yeah. Like I'm having trouble describing what this flavor is because it is very, very unique. Well, it is. Like, um, I wish I were more clever about it, but, but well, give me we, the are, last one. we are anything... But clever here on the Rambling Knave. Oh shit, son. You want to talk about metal cover. This one's called Maudette. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Belgian style double ale, so we've taken one of those ales out, and it's got a, a whole bunch of Quebecois riding in a canoe with the devil on looking. This is an 8%. Oh, it's another wow. ale brew with spices. And it's uh, 18, so it's going to be darker, but not as dark. And okay. it's a 22, so it's... Oh, that's the most bitter one. No. Yeah, no. Right? No, that one's... No, that one's 15. This one's 19. Yeah, oh, so, sure okay, the... so that's the most bitter All right. one. Most so, bitter. yeah, this one's... I have metal as fuck. Oh, yeah. <laughs> see that? Let's see. Huh. It's a group of fur trappers. I see, yeah, but they're flying. That's well, a flying canoe. Flying fur trappers. You know, there's the full. Is that supposed to be the sun? Because it's like a very washed out sun. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, okay, if you look at the artwork for all of these, which is actually, it's all kind of fantastic. Even this, like, uh, Spartan one of just this uh, fort. Yeah, no, it's pretty cool. Like, I even like the, you know, just the, the fort oh, yeah. of Blanche de Chamblay. I like that color. Yeah, me too. That is a nice color. Blanche de Chamblay. Dude, this artwork. This is no, it really is. is. It is, is yeah. aesthetically pleasing. It really is. I like the yeah, I, or like <laughs> the style of it. Does it say who does the art anywhere? Me. Uh, okay, so this well, is let like me get a, some of your commission money, my dude. <laughs> I get paid in uh, hand jobs. Get paid in Satan on this cover. Huh. So it's not as dark as, as the other one. It looks. Like a watered down cola. I do like that color though. Yeah, Me because too. it's it's got that. It's like in between the ale and the the dark ale. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. This is like. This is the this is the color of beer. This is like di <laughs> yeah. This is like Coke that had like too many like ice cubes in it. That kind of. <laughs> yeah, watered it down. Yeah. Um, I have to say, aside from a couple of them, the smells have been pretty underwhelming. Huh. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of... Yeah, the apple, like, was aggressively scented, and everything else has yeah, been very, like... pretty mild. Low-key. That oh, is... It smells like beer. Yeah, you know, to that point, yeah. It's... Wow, that's real interesting. Like, they all... <clears throat> the flavors aren't... They aren't blow you away with their flavor profiles, right? Right. Like, they're, they're so confined to themselves that you really have to try to pick out the extra flavors. But that being said, this one has a, a fuller body like this one. Yep. This is really good, you know. I almost like, I may like this better than um, La Fin. Yeah. But I want to have a drink of. One, because I want to mm. have a drink of. Two, because this <laughs> one's a double and this one's a triple. And I think this uh, is a good time see, to... See, I think I even would put this here. I might bump it up one too, but I want to. I want triple drink off. I want yeah. I want to compare the double and the triple. All right, we'll drink that. Here, here, we'll each get a little. Oh yeah, a little more. A little more. A little more. So that's this We're is gonna one. Fall a little more left. A little more. Can you have more? Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't get any. <laughs> mm. This is like delicious. That, that is really I fucking good. I like Maudet. I mean, that's 
really fucking that good. That is really fucking good. And this is the triple ale? This is yes, this is the triple. That actually might push its way. It this, might. Is, this is a quick quad, I think, because Hail Satan, my Dark Lord and Master. Yep, my dad's better. Yeah, I did I think like yeah. yeah. This one's a little too strong. Yeah. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like when you go side by side, don't get me wrong, they're both very, very oh, yeah, good. Oh, yeah, for beers. sure. But when you go side by side, um, the Maudit could Kill like, that. Yeah, Maudit is it's, it's a little less heavy, mm -hmm. and I think that makes it eminently more drinkable. <coughs> like, yeah. you would have, I, would, I think I would be able to have one of these, and I would have to call it. Yeah, well... Kill that. Are we doing the Maudet again? Right. Maudet. So, hey, we got... This motherfucker's moving its way up. <laughs> this one's like... This is like the Dark Horse playoff motherfucker. What did I just say about, like, having to... Mm. Yeah, I don't it. give a like, shit. I'm not chugging... I am not chugging Belgians. He said something about, like... <laughs> I'm not chugging Belgians. <laughs> and I'll chug some French. No, Belgians That's... will... I don't know what it is about Belgian beers, but they will ruin you. Yeah, well, I've been ruined a number of times. Yeah, in my me life. too. All right, so you. All right, then you remember what this tastes like. Honestly, I'm saying that one. See, here's the thing. Because if it beats this, then it's easily there, and okay. everything shifts down. If it doesn't, right, then okay, it, I think here's the thing. There. Give me that one because I would have put that one ahead of this one. So if Maudet can beat that one for me, then yeah, we can. Done. Done one. Demarco. Yeah. Act like you're running a marathon. <laughs> I feel like it. All these beers are. He doesn't strong. usually drink with us. That's a good point. You really? Yeah, I'm off camera, like sipping water or juice, something family friendly and yeah. non-alcoholic, because I have to, you know, pay attention to what you're doing, what I'm doing to help you do what you're doing. Oh, this man. is good, but I say that Maudet wins. That Maudet's really good. See, you guys have a different opinion than me, but I like <clears throat> the Dom de Dui. That shit is good. That that is a really good beer because it's creamy, it's full, it's well. -blended. I'm not arguing. I said that was really good beer. I just like the I like Troy's pistols better. I would, yeah, no. <laughs> and that I like Troy's sense. pistols, but Maudet I like better than Troy's pistols. If it was me, it would this this would be the rank. I would. Oh, you are insane. Okay, this is mine. That is mine right there. These these we can agree on. But for me, that's how it would go. Because <coughs> Don Juan has has come and swept me off my feet. He has done his Don Juan thing, and he's left me wanting. <laughs> moist, 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 and wanting for more of him. Okay. I like... And his heaving <clears throat> breast. His manly... Heaving man bosom. Nipples. <laughs> <laughs> Nipples. Yeah. It's rugged. I ass. like the strength of the pistoles. Body is better. Thank you. Okay. So I, to, for, for me and Noah, yeah, it goes this way. So yeah. based on majority rules, this is how we're gonna rule it. We'll see. Considering I don't subscribe to democracy, <laughs> you know, life's tough. So on the end for I'd rather be kicked in the dick. And this this is you you should be aware by now that our rankings are based solely off of humor. Yeah. Because uh, this is definitely not kicked in the dick. Well I mean, we all should, we should almost like have a different patented no. rating scale no. for like uh -uh. legit beers. No, no, no. no. The <laughs> Yeah, that's too much work. Yeah. <laughs> Two patented rating scales. This took all of our mental energy to come up with. <laughs> So we're not going to stop. Yeah, something I scribbled before an episode one day. Yeah, we're right. just like, woo, tuckered out. Yep. I'd rather be kicked in the dick. Blanche de Chambly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blanche de Chambly. Okay. Damn, that's bad is... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, isn't that the F me Ray? Yeah, F me Ray Palme. <laughs> 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 yeah, F me Ray Palme. F me Ray Palme. Yeah. Not bad. Eh, who, is, who Ray Palme is? Who now, Fins du Monde. That was actually about as close. I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. I'll drink it. It's free. Is Don de Don de Don. Two. There's two Dons. Don. 
I'd Don buy Rickles. that for a dollar, and I absolutely would. Troy's Pistols. Yeah, dude, Troy's a pretty Troy's cool pistol. guy. And then last, Guilty Pleasure, which isn't a Guilty Pleasure, because this is fucking delicious. Modoit. Modit. Modet. So, there you go. There's your unibrow. Brew. Unibrow rankings. Brew. Unibrow. Brew. So, thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Also, uh... February 21st, around 8 o'clock, we'll be live streaming a power hour because of our one year anniversary of the channel. We won't be drinking any of these. No, we will not be drinking Jesus these. Christ. Yeah, we'll be drinking something light and one easily, of these. Yeah, easily pounded. So, uh, get yourself a sixer of your favorite beer if you want to join us. And on February 21st, we'll be doing a power hour. And yeah. it's going to be a hoot. We each pick 20 songs. Uh, and if you want, there will be a chat, I'm sure. That you can come in and tell us we're assholes and then leave. Uh, but before you like subscribe and then tell us we're assholes. Or whichever, just subscribe. Yeah. Or uh, you can just be like, hey, I don't think you're assholes. I think you guys uh, are very attractive young men. I mean, that's fine. You can stay in the chat for that. I'll yeah. tell you why. We, uh, we can we can sext in the chat. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. Listen, <laughs> only am, the dudes. Yeah. Because that's not cheating. I am vain enough to just accept any compliments. So <laughs> please do that. You're so handsome. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Yep. Yeah, please ring the bell. Thank you. We'll see you next week with uh, something else. Something I don't know else. what. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers.